Well, earlier I spoke to the Chief Minister of Gibraltar, Fabian Picardo, and asked whether he found the Spanish threatening. Well, the, the language is certainly threatening, but it's something that we've seen before. We've seen more than one Spanish foreign minister behave in this way, but Mr. Malagallo has really raised the temperature more than most ever have before. You've been comparing it to North Korea. Is, is that not a little over the top? This particular intervention by Mr. Madagallo on Sunday morning, which seems to be a, a reaction to the Spanish ambassador having been called in on Friday, is reminiscent of the sort of rantings that we sometimes see from North Korea that don't seem to bear any relevance to what it is that they may be commenting on. If Spain were to raise the temperature further, what, what would Britain do to defend you? The, the case of Gibraltar is very much like the case of the Falklands, and if Argentina were to raise the temperature in the Falklands even further, the United Kingdom would know how to act in, in partnership with the people of Argentina. And I'm sure that if Spain wants to raise the temperature even further, the United Kingdom and Gibraltar in partnership will be able to deal with that in any way that's necessary. What, what about the question of the artificial reef that you're building, though? I mean, it, the, Sp the Spanish say that's provocation. Well, I mean, uh, they might say that, but when you think of it, what it is that we've done, these are British Gibraltar territorial waters. This is as much Gibraltar as the centre of Main Street. We've created an artificial reef there, which is identical to the artificial reefs that the Junta de Andalusia have created in the whole of the area of the Spanish coast and in the Bay of Gibraltar. So if they've done it, and by the way, when they've done it, the European Commission has paid for the cost of it, or the European Union has paid for the cost of it, and it wasn't wrong then, it can't be wrong now. What's provocative about trying to look after the environment and create sustainable fishing stocks? Is their proposed 50 euro charge legal? I don't think it is legal by any stretch of the imagination. It's contrary to the freedom of movement. It's been proposed once before and they haven't proceeded with it. The Partido Popular Mayor of La Linea, before he was voted out in May 2011, proposed it and was not able to proceed with it. He's now in Madrid and he might be one of the reasons why they are now uh, considering this proposal again. But I'd like to see how the European Commission deals with that. Again, if you think of the 10,000 Spanish workers who come into Gibraltar every day, they will be charged 50 euros under this proposal to come into Gibraltar and 50 euros to go out. They'd have to pay 100 euros to come into Gibraltar and do a day's work. I don't think they'd be happy. And if they were exempted, it would be even more discriminatory a charge. And for those people watching who find this all a bit strange and curious, could you explain why it is so important to you to be British? Well, look, I was uh, born a Briton, and uh, 30 other Gibraltarians with me were born British. We've had a British uh, education system, we've had a British system of justice, we have a British system of government. We don't know anything other than the British systems. Why should we change? Why should the people of Blackpool change? Why should the people of Dover change? Why should the people of Gibraltar change if they don't want to? Because you're on the end of Spain? Well, you're on the other side of France. That's, that's, a, that's a very fair point. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Chief Minister. <laughs> the Chief Minister of Gibraltar. And in the past few minutes, the Foreign Secretary has said the UK stands shoulder to shoulder with the people of Gibraltar and will continue to search for a political solution to the current tensions. We did try to speak to a representative from the Spanish uh, government, but no one was available to appear on the programme.